this thing yet. He passed the 8-6! This race is over. No worries now, bro. Kyoichi is way too careful to lose his lead once he's got it locked in. Just because he took the lead doesn't mean it's locked. You can't relax yet, Kyoichi. The 8-6 could turn south on you real quick. This race is far from over, my man. I see him! Here they come, dudes! <laughs> the Evo 3! It's the Emperor! <laughs> Where's the 8-6? Right there! <laughs> doesn't know this course. There was no way he could attack it at full speed when he was leading. But when he's tailing me, the guy can predict what's ahead based on my movements. With that piece of crap under him, I'm amazed he's pulling this off. Considering the acceleration gap between us, he's got to be turning those corners way faster than I am. <laughs> Gotta give it to him. His control's something of a miracle. Hell of a strain on the tires, but I wonder if I should speed up now. Or maybe I should wait until the next straightaway to kick it on up. <laughs> That's stupid of me. I already know the answer. I'm not gonna change the pace at all. It'd be the crowning achievement of dumb moves for me to do that. As far as I know, it might have been how Seiji lost. racer at the top of his game controls tire strain. He doesn't encourage it. I'll just stick to the basics. That's how I'll win this. The gap isn't widening anymore. It sounds like it's actually starting to get smaller. <laughs> it's amazing. The 8-6 is moving even faster than he does in Akina. Which makes perfect sense. Yeah? And what do you mean by that? It's all about the midsection of this course. It consists solely of mid-speed S-shaped corners. In that section, the driver has only a fraction of a second to accelerate from one corner to the next. They have to be consolidated in their movements. Right. The rest of the time on the course is spent struggling with the constant G-force coming at it from the side. It's not an easy thing to do. And with the misfiring system that Kyoichi has installed on his souped-up EVO 3, he's got unbeatable acceleration coming out of the corners. So the 8-6 has to compensate for this advancement by entering the corners at a much higher rate of velocity. Utilizing its lightweight body, which is his only real advantage, he waits until the last possible moment before braking on each corner. This gives him the use of the grip on all four tires to achieve maximum cornering speed. If the 8-6 hadn't already taken on the qualities of being an extension of Takami's body due to all the hours of practice he's put into it, well... There's no way he could have possibly achieved a miraculous performance like this one. Then it sounds to me like he hasn't given up yet. With the frame of mind he's in, he might not even be able to grasp the concept of giving up. 
His very being is busy becoming one with the machine. That's just his way. to shorten the gap at the corner. He widens the damn thing on the straightaways. That's the power differential. Hello, Fujiwara Tofu Shop. Oh, Yuichi, it's you. No, Takami isn't back yet. He's still out. So what the hell's going on here? Everyone seems to be looking for him like he's the missing link or something. He went to Akagi. I see. I gotta give it to you for even making it this far. It's a real feat for anyone. See you later, pal. turn section. I can kick it up to full speed after the next corner. This is when the serious racing starts. And they lend this thing fast. His style changed. For the first time tonight, I'm gonna use this feint and follow it up with an aggressive drift. That'll show him that I'm serious as hell about winning this race. It's not a long straightaway by any means, but it should be long enough to shake him off my tail. 